Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a really exciting one for you. We're gonna be profiling Bren Miller Energy. They're focused on sustainable thermal energy storage. There's a lot to unpack with this organization, but before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on Bren Miller, if you're currently holding shares, and your outlook on the space as a whole moving into next year. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Bren Miller Energy Limited, trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker BNRG. As you can see, this is as of close on Monday, November 6th. They were up just north of 1% on the day or just under one cent per share to close out at 66.9 cents US. And on a six month view, you can see this stock has been downtrending, which may be presenting a great buying opportunity if you're looking for exposure to the waste energy or energy storage markets. Now, Bren Miller is specifically focused on TES, which is thermal energy storage. And they've got some really interesting and proprietary technology that we're gonna look at throughout today's presentation that has definitely grabbed my attention. And based on the comments of some of our other videos, looks like it's of subscriber interest as well. And as icing on the cake, you can see just two weeks ago, Bren Miller's Energy B Gen system was named among Time's 2023 list of best inventions. And we're gonna take a look at that technology a little bit later in the investor presentation. So because this is the first time we're profiling Bren Miller thermal energy storage on the channel, I wanted to take a quick look at the website, give you guys a high level analysis of what this company is all about. So again, provide sustainable TES or thermal energy storage solutions. The company was founded by Avi Bren Miller. Obviously it's in the name former CEO of Simons, CSP, and Solel, and a team of experts in the renewable energy field. Now, since 2012, the company has developed a patented thermal energy storage technology based on storing heat, actually using volcanic rocks in their technology. And this is a look at the carbon-free thermal energy storage system or platform itself, with some additional stats as you scroll down the page. So the BGen system, again, trademarked, is a high temperature thermal energy storage unit stored in solid state material. So again, in this case, crushed volcanic rocks, charged electrically or thermally, and delivers steam or hot air on demand. So some of the benefits here, you can see this is environmentally friendly, clean technology. It's a hybrid solution, which charges thermal or electrical sources. They're modular, so you're able to add units to meet the needs of large scale power plants or facilities. And they have unlimited cycles with an estimated 30 year lifetime or lifespan with no degradation. And from there, you can see a variety of different use cases. So thermal energy for industry, generating either clean steam, hot water, or hot air. They've got thermal storage for utility, so allowing power plants to shift excess heat to peak hours, ramp up faster, integrate renewable energy into their power facility. And what's super interesting here is you can actually prolong the power plant's lifetime by easing some of the thermal stresses on the system. And then the other component I really like here on the company website, I'll leave it linked in the video description below as well, is a highlight of some of their strategic partners, which include some of the foremost and most well-known companies in the energy trade and energy power markets worldwide. Now, if we shift gears into the investor presentation, you can see Bren Miller Energy has had over $100 million worth of capital investments since their inception in 2012. Of course, that's when they were founded. They've got 60 employees, four installed projects and four strategic partnerships as we alluded to on the last slide. So this is a revenue generating company with practical use cases that are installed in the field, which again are decarbonizing heat in industrial power plant settings using that TES or thermal energy storage system. And we've actually talked about global energy use stats like this in some of our prior videos, but a lot of people think about electricity and transportation when they're talking about renewable energy, the shift to green technology, obviously electric vehicles receive a lot of the buzz and hype in the media, but it's actually heating and cooling that uses 51% of the global energy use, making this an absolutely huge TAM or total addressable market or opportunity for companies like Bren Miller. 
And continuing along with that theme, thermal energy storage when paired with electric boilers or heat pumps is actually the most competitive way to replace natural gas and decarbonize those industrial processes. So you can see a comparison of all of these different heating methods, including gas boilers, hydrogen boilers, biomass boilers, electric boilers, heat pumps. But when you start to pair these electric boilers and heat pumps with a thermal energy storage system, you can see the results are quite impressive and very competitive compared to some of these other systems. Not to mention, Bren Miller Energy just put out a letter from the CEO this week talking about the World Bank's forecast on oil prices, which based on some of the escalating conflicts in the Middle East, may drive oil prices beyond $150 US per barrel. So again, really supporting the thesis of Bren Miller in terms of the enormous opportunity and ability of renewables and energy storage to meet new demand. And we're also seeing a desire from countries across the world, specifically in Europe, to claim energy independence, of which thermal energy storage is key to achieving that goal. And it's also worth noting the current conflict or war in the region has no material effect on the operations of Bren Miller, which is steadfast in their commitment and mission to create value for shareholders. And that's exactly why we're seeing such widespread regulatory support really from around the world as governments continue to take aggressive steps and provide substantial incentives to reduce gas consumption. And you can see a variety of different publications and incentives from around the world ranging from Spain to New York that are focused on either banning or reducing our dependence on natural gas. So now that we've set the stage, we've looked at the problem itself and understood that around 51% of the energy lost around the world is a result of heating and cooling, I wanted to introduce you to the BGen0 system or solution by Bren Miller. So again, this is that modular power to heat thermal energy storage system. It's got zero emissions, modular as we said, ranging from 10 megawatt hours all the way up to 1000 megawatt hours depending on the number of units installed unlimited cycles with a 30 plus year expectation with low material costs and simple operation and maintenance. And this is actually another look at the unit itself, which uses those high efficiency embedded electric heaters to convert the wasted renewable energy into usable heat, whether that's hot water or steam. So some additional stats here, you guys, 100% electricity for charging, one second response rate for fast charging, 99% charge efficiency, 98% year-round availability, 90% prefabricated components. So on the prior slide, when they talk about low-cost materials and simple operation and maintenance, it's really due to the fact that 90% of these units are prefabricated components with easy replacement parts and a 97% power-to-heat cycle efficiency rating. And that's exactly why these TES systems stack up so favorably to some of the more legacy heating and heat recovery methods. Now in terms of the business model here or the revenue opportunities for Bren Miller, there's a variety of different revenue opportunities. So business model number one is actually selling the equipment itself. So selling these entire thermal energy storage solutions to industrial facilities and power plants as we talked about in the intro. Gross profit target on this vertical is about 30% with an additional 5% give or take of the equipment sale value going into services like warranty, maintenance and optimization which again is fairly low effort for Bren Miller because of the prefabricated nature of these modules. Now the second business model is energy as a service, so joint ventures with leading global clean energy utilities to provide clean steam and grid services. So this focuses on Bren Miller providing the technology and the integration, partnering with companies who will provide the clean electricity and financing, and then between the pair or the joint venture, selling that energy and grid balancing services back into the power grid. And this grid balancing is something we've looked at extensively, specifically with a lot of the Bitcoin mining companies. Now the benefit of this vertical or business model to the customer is there's no additional CapEx expenditures, it reduces their operational risk, and it green certifies and contributes towards their carbon emission savings. And interestingly enough, on the next slide, they talk about some of these opportunities, specifically grid flexibility and stabilization, demand side management, and the utilization of curtailed energy, which we just talked about on the channel a few days ago. So whether the grid's currently operating in a positive balance or a negative balance, this technology is able to help bring them to equilibrium so the consumer demand and the generation itself 
meet somewhere in the middle with as little wasted energy and heat as possible. So as you can imagine, this is really a global situation or opportunity for Bren Miller. You can see project development and sales process in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, and the Asia Pacific region with a variety of different projects already up and operational and a number of large scale partnerships already in the works with a number more in the sales pipeline. So for example, in Europe alone, they've got nine clean energy projects with two gigawatts per hour total capacity harnessing their B Gen Zero technology. So with that being said, you guys, Bren Miller is definitely one that caught my attention. It's a $63 billion global addressable market. They've got patented technology that addresses this tremendous demand for efficient clean energy storage. As the general public and governments around the world continue to pursue renewable energy opportunities, the need to reliably store clean energy is a major challenge facing industry and regulators. We saw in the intro that Bren Miller's technology is award-winning and on that map, the fact that they've already got contracts with a variety of customers across the world. Their production and manufacturing plan is set up to ramp aggressively to support sales up to $200 million per year. And they've got the diversified revenue model, which includes direct equipment sales and energy as a service, which translates to recurring revenue. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of. So for those reasons, you guys, this is definitely one that I would take a look at if you're wanting exposure to the energy or energy storage sector. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button, you guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of Bren Miller. But I'd also be curious to hear your thoughts on this company and the market opportunity ahead of them moving into 2024. Now that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.